Hey, if you're looking for one of the nicest uh, RV rest areas you'll find anywhere in the country, it's uh, right here on the Vermont Massachusetts state line. And here's the building. It's a tourist place. It's got um, lots of information. When we go inside, you'll be able to see even more. And you can see there's ample RV parking. However, it's Sunday Memorial Day weekend, and it's like we're the only ones that are traveling right now. Here we go inside. See, there's ample car parking and a uh, little park. There's the barn. Before that, there's a information area here with uh, directions, maps, and a little bit of historic uh, displays as well. And here's a, a little bit of the view from the outside and then the other side of the barn. And let's go inside. And each geographic area is highlighted, and then there's the appropriate brochures. There's Central Vermont, there's West Central Vermont, and the brochures that go along with it. And uh, you can see it's pretty immaculate, some of the stuff that's made in Vermont, and some of the stuff that lives. So there's also uh, vending machines and tons of tons more maps and everything from northern Vermont to uh, wintertime stuff to real estate mags and everything, but uh, Vermont's pretty cool. Everybody, if you're looking for a little change of pace from your normal um, deserted downtown that uh, has been taken over by strip malls and uh, fast food stores, you may want to consider Brattleboro, Vermont, where uh, they're even going to stroll the heifers down Main Street in June, first week of June. So here's downtown, a little look southbound and then up to the northern section. It's a Sunday, so it's a little bit quiet, but uh, good mix of shops, restaurants, art galleries, and that's Brattleboro, Vermont.